Okay, for this project, I am using just regular Red Heart Super Saver. Oops, sorry about that. Like this. It's just a four ply worsted weight acrylic yarn. Um, normally, I probably wouldn't use Red Heart for an article of clothing, but this color I picked out is actually a lot softer than normal. So, um, the color I'm using is called Sunrise. And you're going to need about four, six, seven, about 700, 750 yards of yarn to complete this project. And then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. I'm also using just some regular brown too, just to do the, uh, the fringe and stuff and to outline it. Okay, you want to start with a chain of three. One, two, three. And then we're going to slip stitch back into the first one to form a ring. that. Now we're going to chain three and that chain three counts as a double crochet. Now we're going to go back in and double crochet through the ring again. So now you got two double crochets there counting that chain three. So now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to go back through the ring again and do two more double crochets. These squares are real easy to do. There's one. And two. Now if you pull your tail, your end tail, pull that center circle smaller. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and turn our work. Now we're going to be working in the back loops of our stitches now. So we're going to, in the back loop, we're going to yarn over and go through the back loop. You can see how there's two loops. One, two, you want to go into the back one only. And double crochet. And then we're right here in this chain three space. Every chain three space is always going to be the same. It's actually it's going to get two double crochets, so go right through it and do two doubles. One, two, and then you chain three. One, two, three, and you go back into the same spot and do two more doubles. One, two. Now I'm going to go to the next stitch and I'm going to do a double crochet into the back loop. And then I'm going to double crochet into the top of this chain three here on the end. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain three and turn my work. Again, I'm going to put one double crochet in each of these double crochets. We're going to end the back loops only. So I'm going to yarn over and go right here. Not this very, very first stitch, but we're working in this one right here. Back loop only. Double crochet. Go to the next one. Back loop. Double crochet. The next one. Back loop. Double. And then we're right here at this chain space again. Again, we're going to do go through it and do two doubles. There's two, chain three, and go back in and do two more doubles. Okay, one double crochet in each of these. Back loops only.
And then in the top of the chain three here on the end. That. And then you chain three and turn your work. And it's just a repeat of what we're doing. We just keep going back and forth. So again, one double and the back loops only of all these stitches until you get to the corner. And in the chain space, it's two doubles, a chain three, and two more doubles. And then you finish out back loops only, double crochets. And then in the top of your chain three here at the end, chain three again, turn, and just repeat. And you can see by working in the back loops, it's kind of setting one row to the back and one row kind of up front. So it just gives a little ridge here on every other row. And that's it. You just keep repeating that. And you want to do that for a total of 18 rows. So this was our first one. One, two, three, four. We did four. We're getting ready to work our fifth row. So do a total of 18 rows. Okay, once you get done with your 18 rows, you're going to notice that there's two sides. We'll look down here at the bottom. And you'll notice that, like, this one, this row sticks out a little bit, and the next row is kind of set back. Now that's the right side up for me. But you can actually do it either way, and if you flip it, you'll just notice that it's opposite. This row set back, and the last row is kind of popped up a little bit. But I'm going to do it where my front is, where the second to the last row is the one that's popped up, and the last row is set back a little bit. So now I'm going to go around the whole piece with the row of single crochet. So I'm going to start right where I left off, and I'm going to work down this side first. So I'm going to start with chain one, and I'm going to continue down the side putting one single crochet in every stitch. Now, some of these, oops, it's going to be hard, kind of hard to tell where they go, but you want to try to make sure you get the same amount of single crochets on each square. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go right through this whole stitch like that. I'm going to single crochet one time. And then I'm going to jump over here. The next spot I'm going to single crochet in is right here at the top where these meet here, where this double crochet goes into there, I'm going to go right into there and single crochet. Now the next stitch I'm just going to go right through this whole spot and single crochet. And then right here you can see the next spot I'm going to go right here. And then right through this whole space on my next one and then the next one is going to be right here. Right through that space. Or right through that stitch. And this doing it this way is going to kind of get them evenly spaced all the way down. And that's kind of just what you want. And I'm going to go right through this whole spot. Single crochet. And then the next spot. Right here. Right through there. Single crochet. Oops. And then the next spot is right around the stitch. And I'm just going to keep doing this all the way down. My whole piece. 
my next spot is right here and then right through here okay I went all the way down that side and I'm down here to the corner now I'm going to put three stitches in the corner three single crochets in the corner and that's just going to help around it out a bit and then I'm going to continue along going up the next side doing it the same way that we did the other side so right through that stitch and then single crochet right here in this little spot and then right through the next one and then single crochet right here in this little spot right through the next stitch and do that all the way down okay I made it down that side and again I'm going to put three in the next corner spot now on these stitches you'll be able to see these a lot better but I'm actually just going to go do one single crochet in the back loop of these so it's going to go in the back loop and put one single crochet in every single stitch the back loop only just like that and I'm going to do that all the way down and then when I get to this corner I'm going to put three single crochets in it and then I'm going to go all the way up this doing the single crochet in the back loop up this side and then I'll be back at the beginning okay when you make it back to the beginning you want to slip stitch into your first single crochet make sure you put three single crochets in this last stitch the last corner stitch too that and then tie off go ahead and clip your yarn okay now I'm gonna go uh, switch colors and I'm gonna start with my other color and I'm gonna go around this whole piece again with another row of single crochet and you can start anywhere that you want I'm probably just start like right here somewhere it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna pull my yarn through and chain one now I'm going to go back into that through that same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to work my way around putting one single crochet in every single stitch. I'm going to work through both loops so it's not going to be just a back loop or anything. We're going through both loops. One single in every stitch. Even around the corner it's just one single crochet in every stitch until you get back to the beginning okay when you make it back to the beginning you just want to slip stitch into your first single crochet and tie that off clip your yarn and then you can hide that tail and you want to make six of these squares exactly the same okay now this is how you want to sew it together one two three and I have all my pieces going the same way so like the points are all at the corners so it goes like that so the points are all come together and then you put your other three on the bottom so it's two here two here and two here and right up here is the neck hole and this goes over your arms and this flares out at the bottom so you'll sew like these three together like this and then the back three together the same way and then put them together like this or the backs on the bottom and then you just kind of sew up the side here right there and right there so this is left open all the way down and this up here is left open okay to sew them together I'm using a yarn needle and a strand of yarn and you want to put wrong sides facing each other so I got my wrong the wrong side wrong sides up I'm sorry here's my wrong side 
and my wrong side back here. And the good sides are going to be touching each other. So the wrong side of your work facing out. That way when it's sewed up you can flip it right side out and the seam will be on the inside. So to sew them I'm just going to line them up. I'm just going to sew them together with my yarn needle. I'm going to grab a stitch, I'm sorry it's dark, but I'm going to grab the top loop on this piece. And on the next piece, I'm going to grab the top loop on that one. And go through. And then I'm going to come back around and do the same. Grab the top loop on this one. And then to going through the top loop on this back piece. And around. Again, top loop, top loop, top loop on this one, and then the top loop on that one. Pull it through. You can go through the same stitch twice if you want to make it nice and strong, but go through top loop again, top loop. Go to your next stitch. Go through the top loop on the next stitch. Top loop on the next stitch back here. And I'm just going to do this all the way down. And by only going through the top loop, it's creating a little ridge on the opposite side. I'll show you here. Just making it look, I guess you can't really see it that well because of the dark color but you'll be you'll be able to see it on yours this is kind of making it giving a little bit of extra texture so that's how you sew it together just with your yarn needle so it's really easy and you want to do this all the way down on each piece And when you get to the bottom, you just uh, weave your tail in and clip it off. Okay, now I'm going to go around the neckline with some single crochet rows. And you can start anywhere you want. I'm just going to kind of start right here. Here's like the center where they meet so I'm just going to kind of start right over here somewhere so I'm going to start by pulling my yarn through and chaining one now I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet now I'm going to single crochet all the way down here until I get to this uh, corner piece or this piece right here where they all meet I'm just putting one single crochet in every stitch. I'm going to move my camera here. Okay, now when you get down here, I'm going to single crochet these uh, three stitches together. So I'm going to yarn over, or I'm going to, not yarn over, I'm going to go into the, you want to single crochet till you got a stitch here, this stitch, and a stitch on this piece. And we're going to single crochet them all together. So I'm going to take the stitch on this piece, go in, and drop a loop. Now I'm going to take the stitch on this center piece, go in, drop a loop, and then the next stitch on the next piece, I'm going to go into it, drop a loop. Now I'm going to yarn over and go through all the loops on my hook. Like that. So that kind of just took them all and put it together. Now I'm just going to continue going around, putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around 
until I get back around to the other side where there these three meet right over here I'll meet you back over there and we'll do this again I'm back around to the other side here where these three pieces meet it's the dip in the neck is where we're at so I'm gonna take one the last stitch on this piece one stitch on this piece and the first stitch on this piece and single crochet them all together so I'm gonna go in to the stitch on this piece and draw up a loop go into the stitch on the next piece draw up a loop and then go into the stitch on this piece over here draw up a loop yarn over and go through all the loops on my hook like that I'll do it one more time just to show you stitch on this piece go in draw up a loop and then we find the stitch on this piece we're kind of not we're just jumping over this big brown spot here and going into the stitch on the center piece draw up a loop and then jump over this and you'll see the stitch over here the first stitch on this piece go in draw up a loop yarn over and go through all the loops on your hook like that and now I'm just going to continue around again putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get back around to where I started just like this okay I made it back around to the beginning where I started I'm going to start a new color here if you want to use the same color you can just what I'm going to do is slip stitch into my first single crochet and instead of bringing my new my old color through I'm going to bring my new one through like that I'm going to leave my old one on there still because I'm not going to clip it because I'm going to use it again but now what I'm going to do is chain one and go back into that same stitch and single crochet that now I'm going to work my way around with my new color putting one single crochet in every stitch just till we get down here to where we did our decreases earlier okay when we get down here to where we did our decreases earlier we want to do I'm gonna totally just skip that stitch where we brought all three of them together I'm just gonna completely skip it and if you look you'll be able to see it right here so I'm just going to go ahead and skip it and then single crochet into the next and then I'm just going to keep going putting one single crochet in every stitch so I just completely skipped that uh, stitch from before where we single crochet three together I skipped it jumped over and just continued putting one single crochet in every stitch and I'm going to do this all the way around and then when I get to the other side where this where the neck part is I'm gonna do the same thing okay I made it back to the beginning again and I'm gonna go around one more time I'm gonna switch colors though so I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into my first single crochet I'm gonna bring my old color through like that and then I'm clipping that color off clipped it already because I'm not going to use it anymore now I'm going to start again with this one I chain in one go back into the same stitch single crochet like that and now I'm going to work my way around one more time putting one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around the top here And 
when you get down here to the little v-neck part I'm just going to continue putting one single crochet in every stitch. I'm not going to do anything special. So just like that. So I didn't do anything different. I just put one single crochet in every stitch there that time around. And I'm going to do that one single crochet in every stitch all the way around the entire piece until I get back to the beginning. And then I'm going to slip stitch into my first single crochet and tie it off. Okay, there's what that looks like up here. Now I'm going to do single crochets rows across the bottom. And I'm going to do it like the same color pattern. So I'm going to start with my dark color all the way around, single crochet. One single crochet in every stitch all the way around. And then all the way around, back around, all the way, and then back to where you started. And then I'm going to switch colors and go around again. Single crochet all the way around the whole entire piece. And then one more row of the dark color. So I'm going to do three total rows of single crochet along all along the bottom. Okay, once you get these rows of single crochet at the bottom done, I'm just adding some fringe. And this is optional. You don't have to do that. But what I did was I clipped a piece of yarn about two feet long and I fold it in half and then I got the right side of my work facing me I just go to a stitch on the bottom like that pull through this yarn and you got line up both halves here so they're kind of equal and then pull them through like that pull it tight and then when I'm done getting all the fringe on I'll clip it um, trim up the bottoms and make them all even and I'll show you again I'll get my piece here fold it in half and I'm going through every stitch so I'll go to the next stitch go through it pull my yarn through like that and then kind of get these ends even grab them and Pull through that loop tight like that and then like I said at the end I'll clip these off trim them up cut these loops and make them all even all the way down and I'm gonna do this in every stitch all the way around the front and the back so it's gonna take me a little bit but but again that's this is optional you don't have to put this on but once you get that done that's all there is to it after you get the fringe on you're finished. Um, I hope you were able to follow along okay. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you make this or anything else crochet, you can post a picture of it on my Facebook page. I'd really like to see a picture. Um, I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.